بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور سائنس ٹیچر مسز مدیا اشرف ویلکم ٹو آل آف یو ان جنرل سائنس کلاس ایٹ ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ چیپٹر نمبر فور اسپیڈنگ اپ دا آبجیکٹیوز آف آر ٹو ڈیز لیسن اسٹوڈنٹس یو ول بی ایبل ٹو یوز دا کانسیپٹ آف اسپیڈ اینڈ دا یونٹس آف اسپیڈ اسٹوڈنٹس we have noticed in all over the universe the things are moving so we have classified them into the different types on the their speed for example the number one they speeding up the things are speeding up means they move fastly some natural things like animals they speed up or they move quickly like the cheetah is well known for its speed so animals need to move quickly why they need to move quickly they want to catch their prey or to protect them from their predator for example what is happening in this picture if you notice one animal is a predator and the other one is prey so cheetah is trying to prey the deer so cheetah is speeding up to catch its prey and deer want to save from the cheetah so deer is also speeding up similarly some man made machines like cars boat aeroplane these are made to move faster so scientists are trying for the ways to make the things go faster so if we classify these type of the things that they are speeding up our second classification is slowing down the things are also slowing down for example the vehicles car bus truck they can be slowed down so that we can control them similarly plants they also move plants move towards light or they move towards water why because these both things are necessary for their food making process so plants react to the things like water light by growing towards them sometimes their growth is fast but sometimes it is hardly noticeable look in this picture the growth is shown of a plant towards the sunlight so plants move towards light that is necessary for their food making process so that's why plants need to move a third type is the things that have constant speed like the planets of our solar system planets move around the sun with constant speed the galaxies Galaxies are made up of million of stars which are in constant motion. And the third example is the tiny particles. Tiny particles like atoms, molecules, these make up the substance. So inside an atom, the small particles like electron, proton and neutron are there that are also in motion. But their motion is with the constant speed. So... if the speed of the atom or the molecules is changed their properties will also change like we have supposed example molecule of water you have generally seen whenever the water molecules are heated what happen they get energy they speed up and evaporate into the atmosphere similarly if water molecules are cooled down cool down they lost their energy they slow down and they start freezing so two processes occur with the that are related with their speed one is the speeding up and the second one is the slowing down so if the molecules of water speed up they evaporate if they slow down they will freeze so we were dealing with the word speed so what actually speed is what is speed 
definition it is the distance traveled per unit time we can write in the form of formula speed is equal to distance divided by time if any object covers a distance in a specific time period if distance is divided by time the quantity we obtain is named as the speed the units of speed are meter kilometer miles and the time is measured in minutes seconds and hours so what will be the unit of speed by substituting the unit of distance and time we will get the unit of speed like if we substitute the distance unit of distance is meter and time in second that will be meter per second how to read meter per second m divided by s similarly if we substitute the unit of distance miles and the unit of time in hours we will get miles per hour that will be the unit of speed similarly if we substitute the unit of distance kilometer and the time in hours we will get the unit of speed that will be kilometer per uh, kilometer per hour so these are the commonly used unit of speed students now you have to solve the test yourself of page number 47 on your neat copies draw the margin line on both sides date day chapter number chapter name and the page number of test yourself look at the questions question number one give example of something that moves at constant speed we have discussed the many examples that move at constant speed you can quote any one of your choice similarly what happens if the water molecules are speed up you have to name the process if water molecules are speed up they will evaporate similarly if the water molecules are slowed down they will freeze question number three give one reason why animal may need to move very quickly animals may need to move very quickly for the two reasons one number one they want to catch their prey and number two they want to protect themselves from the their enemies or from their predators question number four give one reason why plant need to move plants move yes they move they move towards the light or they want to get the light question number five why scientists are just as interested in slowing things down as speeding the speeding them up because scientists want to control the main made machines these all thank you have a nice day allah hafiz